today on YouTube, an advert popped up for a British booze company by the name of Brewdog that if you're over the age of 18 and live in the UK, you've definitely heard of. When I watched the advert, it was kind of funny. You know, some of the jokes landed. It was a bit too long, but overall it made me chuckle. And then I checked out the comments. And it seems that Americans do not understand British humour. In their attempts to take over the US, they're really offending people. <laughs> Crack yourself open a beer and join me as we check out this Brewdog Bonanza. It won't stop here. What, what'll happen next? Well, next you'll start stealing cars. So I'd say within the first five seconds, it's bloody apparent that it's a joke. People thought these guys are being deadly, deadly serious. James and Martin are headed to a farm outside Atlanta to harvest the key ingredient for their beer, the beloved, revered Georgia peach, which I'm sure they'll treat with the utmost respect. Saying how they'll treat this peach with the utmost respect. And then they go ahead and steal a load and like smush it all over their faces. I'm military trained. SAS to be exact. <laughs> You're military trained, but you can't get over this fence. This is so obviously a joke. Come on. Come on. We're going to take the law in our own hands and steal some peaches. Luckily, I'm military trained. He's putting on a disguise whilst filming a YouTube video for a limited company. Come on, people. Feels like we've been in here for days. James! Oh, oh, oh. George is like a dog. If he was military trained, he would know exactly what that meant. <laughs> they're stealthing through the trees like the bloody solid snake. <laughs> so we're still so many peaches. We just get to steal the last few to eat. Yeah, it's hard to stop once you start. I don't feel quite as bad as I thought I would with stolen peaches. And that's how it starts, James. You start stealing one little peach today, Tomorrow, you go back and you steal five peaches. It's quite clearly, people saw the title, didn't even bother watching the video, and started commenting. Because look at the like to dislikes. Where am I putting this? Here? Here? Figure it out later, post-production Pete. God, YouTube went downhill fast with their ads, huh? First it was just shitty ads, and now it's advertising literal crime. Is there a way to report ads? Thumbs down, you cucks. All you did was wet their mouth while they called police. Still theft if you was in Syria, you wouldn't have had hands to carry them. Well, crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji. Scumbags. What the fuck? Advertise your water somewhere else. I wasn't even subbed, but I'm still unsubbing. This looks like it belongs on r slash I'm a piece of shit. As the self-proclaimed expert of r slash I'm a total piece of shit. No. No, it doesn't. Phil, crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji, exactly crying emoji. What? It's just entertainment, illiterate. My good man, I understand that you happen to be a mere fuckwit, but surely you should pass your primary level English classes before you try to call a fellow illiterate. It's just that, as it happens, your own reply occurs to me at containing no less than one blatant travesty of grammar itself. A containing. A containing. A containing. And not in such fashion as can be excused by a disorder such as dyslexia, an unfortunate circumstance like illiteracy, a stylistic choice meant to convey accent, or even merely rushing, since as it happens you yourself are judging another for poor grammar and thus should have found such a lack of care inexcusable. TLDR, don't be a git, you hypocritical sod muffin extraordinaire. Ah, containing. What the frick? I hate you now. Unsubscribes. Unsubbed. Do you realize stealing is illegal? Unsubbed, sad face. Unsubbed. Pictures come from a can. They were put there by a man in a factory downtown. If I had my little way, I'd eat peaches every day. Sun soaking bulges in the shade. Stupid suggestion. I know a Hawaiian tour guide who was fired for doing exactly this with pineapples. You will get prosecuted and lose your best paid job. Great way to advertise stealing people's crops. Bruh. Now come and do this in my country. They will shoot you. Right. A situation like this calls for me to do my best big money salvia. Why I never? This is simply disgusting. Someone worked hard farming those peaches and you boys just gone up and stole them. You didn't even eat them all, just smushed, just smushing them all over your faces. I feel simply disgusted. The hard work and Georgian peach farmers deserve better treatment than this and I pray to the Lord Almighty that you fellas clean up your act or else Jesus so help me Lord I might come down there and whoop your skinny asses. My husband would like to add 
Now listen here, you skinny toe rags, I have 69,420 confirmed kills for the U.S. Marines, and if I see you stealing peaches, I'm gonna call the Cyber FBI to come pick you up in one of their helicopters and deport you to Guantanamo Bay. And post. Thank you for watching this with me, guys. If you enjoyed this, please drop me a comment below. You know I always respond, even if it takes a day or two. I get there in the end. And if you're new around here, or for some reason on Earth haven't subscribed yet, please smash subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell no, I, no, thingy up wherever in whichever corner it's in. You've got to hit the bell because else YouTube just doesn't work. And I'm sure you're sick of YouTube saying that. But there's a reason that we say it because it's true. Even for somebody at my size, it's true. Ah, it's too sad. So make sure you get on and do that because if you haven't done that yet, then you're in imminent danger of bottom spankings. <laughs> Catch you next time, guys. Peace. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. Millions of peaches, peaches for me. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. Millions of peaches, peaches for me.